November is Diabetes Awareness Month. Diabetes affects some 29 million people in the United States. Working in partnership with our parent company, Sinclair Broadcast Group, we want to keep you informed about important health matters. We believe it's our responsibility and privilege. So new this morning in today's Sinclair Cares Report, Jennifer Gilbert explains how managing diabetes can mean the difference between life and death. Fifty-six-year-old Sam Benson is one of the 29 million people in the United States with diabetes. Every day to think about my meds, my counts, what I eat. Like 90% of the people who have the disease, Sam has type 2, a chronic condition that affects the way insulin is able to process blood sugar. In type 2 diabetes, somebody has their own insulin still, but related either to aging or... Um, becoming overweight or both, you become resistant to insulin. So the insulin is still there, but it's not working as well. Some people with type 2 diabetes can control their blood sugar levels with healthy eating and being active, but many require medication to keep it in check. Sam admits that for years he didn't know how to take care of himself. So I went for a while without taking meds. And that took a toll. A heart attack, nerve damage, and excruciating pain. And tomorrow I go in for another surgery. And um, I'm scared, I'm nervous. But Sam is determined to better manage his disease. He knows what the consequences can be. I know people that had amputation. And the guy that I went to school with went blind and he died. I. I'm not ready for that. Sam is getting help from his local hospital and community health worker Verna Hines, who works to educate patients on managing diabetes. The sugar count can actually drop low, um, and you don't have anything around you to help bring that sugar up, you can potentially die. Risk factors for type 2 diabetes include being overweight, being over 45, being physically inactive. African Americans and Hispanics are particularly at high risk. Sam has now found the strength to rehab an old row home. So I'm very proud of, of the things that I've done. It took me two months to do this room. Just like he's rehabbing his health, one step at a time. For Sinclair Cares, I'm Jennifer Gilbert reporting. One step at a time, right? Now type 2 diabetes usually gets worse over time. Even if you don't need medications at first, you may need them later on.